keyboards. I like to collect uh, digital pianos acoustic piano so I have grands uprights and also organs I like to talk about different keyboards uh, that I had in the past and also that I have present so today we are actually going to be talking about the Korg PA series um, and a lot of people has been asking me how in the world did I load up those sound funds number one is that um, sound funds are basically um, they're snippets of synthesizer bytes, basically. Um, they're samples. They're all, what they are. They're WAV file samples, and um, but they have been produced in like synthesizers, keyboards, and and those sound funds are actually have been inside. You know, they have been recorded inside the hardware of the keyboard. The keyboard itself is basically a um, just like a hardware chassis of a computer, and so making the sound funds, people make them and actually just record them straight into the keyboard itself. Um, there's some keyboards, of course, the analog synthesizers, they have the generator, so you have to actually sample them in, into it. So let me show you this, all right? This is a step-by-step -step, um, little video process. So of course, I have my, well, you see my cat there. She wants to be in the picture. So um, as you can see, she's, I was trying to get her off, but she just wanted to be in the picture, but it's okay. So to, lo so to load sound funds, first you got to turn on the keyboard. This right over here, this is a Korg PA-1000. This is an Arranger workstation. This, these sound funds can be loaded on the PA-600, 700, the, um, the 900, the 1000, the PA-4X, 3X, um, I don't know about the 2X. Uh, the 3XLE, um, the 4X, as I said, um, and you can get, say for instance, a sound fund, you could get sound funds all over the internet. Just type in um, free sound funds or type in SF2. That's a file format, which is called SF2. And one sound fund can actually have a whole bank of 600 sounds. That's the most that I've ever seen in a sound fund. So I'm going to show you um, how to actually load it up. So as the keyboard's loading up, the first thing that you're going to get is the regular default pre-programmed screen. And it's going to come up very shortly. This PA-1000 has a lot of stuff, so it has so much stuff already um, basically loaded up. And it's, it takes a while. If you own a PA-700 or a PA-600, it may take a lot less time. Um, but with the PA-1000, it has more memory, has more bytes and everything like that. And you can, you can actually, um, just, just, it takes a little time just to load it up, I should say. And my cat's looking at me like, hurry up. <laughs> I know. She is so cool. So I'm just going to leave her alone. Right? Say hi to the camera. Good girl. Okay. She, she talks on command. Right, Cassio? Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the program where you have to load up the sound funds. Over here it says sound. We got that. Now, this is the regular program. Which is really cool. Uh, I might have to turn this down because it might be a little bit loud for the uh, camera. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to press the record button. The rec there's a record MP3 button that's right over here. So you're going to press that. Once you press that, you enter the sampling mode. So that's really good. Okay, so from the sampling mode, you're going to press the menu button. From the menu button on the screen, you're going to test. You're going to you're going to touch the um, the multi sample. Oh my gosh, it has slice time. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> okay, so from there, um, just to show you what I did, all the way over here, these are all the samples that I downloaded. And I this is like probably eight days worth of it that I did already. And I have so many of them that these are the ones that I converted already, that I loaded up. I have 1,140 of them. So that's 
all of them that is right there. These are all the ones that I used already. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Exit out of here. Right now we have nothing. Nothing's on the keyboard already. So, as I said, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna load up all the sound funds, you're gonna extract the files and put it into a jump drive right over here. And from your USB jump drive, if you have an SD card that's already installed, I did a video on that already, um, then it's a lot faster to load it up from the SD card than the jump drive. The jump drive could take forever, uh, depending on what the sound fun is. So make sure you have an SD card that's already built into it and load up into it. And I think that's the most smartest idea ever. Okay, so go up here to your drop menu. Go right over here to import. When you go to import, you see where it says disk. Press the disk and go to SD. And this is where all my samples, uh, there's a file right here that says brand, brand new SF2 sound funds. And there's samples, samples have to actually be in WAV format. Um, MP3 I think too, I mean you have, I have stuff in MP3 too. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to actually make your own drum kits and everything which is gonna be really cool. Uh, and also then you have sound funds right here. So. I'm gonna press the sound fonts, and I have a lot in here. I probably have over like 30, 40,000 sound fonts that I downloaded. Probably less than that, but you know. Okay, so press open. So it's gonna take some time. As much as you have on there, it's gonna load up a little bit slow. Not slower, but it's just, it's reading all those files just to actually do that. Cassie, I'll leave it alone. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Are you being rambunctious? You think I'm talking to you? You think I'm talking to you? You, you funny cat. Ow. Okay. I need that hand. You can't. You can't be snotty. All right. Sometimes she's a bad girl, but it's okay. So it's loading up, everybody. This is um. It's gonna take some time loading up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan a little bit more better into the machine so you get to see it and I hope you guys get to see it real well if not I can move this over so I'm trying to kill time while it's still loading up because it takes a long time just to do it okay there we go these are your sound funds anything that says SF2 then you got it um, on top of that this is what you could do this if you type in type It'll tell you, of course, these are all sound fonts, so you don't have to do that. If I type, if I type a name, it's going to sort everything out by name. So everything will be alphabetical order by name. So that's going to take a little bit of time. No, that's that's enough time that is already. So, say for instance, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick same, something like over here, which is insects. That one's called insects right there. Once I touch it, I press load. Load multi. Now, here's is the biggest tip. If it says low multi, make sure you check what you have in here. If this is not highlighted, that means the sample cannot load. So let's close that one. Let's get to something else. Get to something like right over here. Load. You have something over here. That can't be done. Let's try this one. I'm going to get to one. That one can't be done. Human voice. Oh, can't be done. Okay, there you go. Found one. All right. If it's if it's if it's actually highlighted, like everything is in white instead of gray letters, you can actually load it. And this one only has one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press import. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> That's a sample right there. Uh, so that was just that was just basically a little thing that um, you can do. Here's hula sticks, so I'm gonna load that up. I can use that. I can use that. So let's go to uh, let's see HS Electronics. Load. You got tons of digital. These are digital stuff right over here. So that's an M1 piano, which I already have, so I don't have to download that. Uh, let's see, trying to find horns. Let's let's see what horns is. Okay, horns. Let's load that up. See what that is. Ooh. 
So right now, that say for instance, take those horns, you're getting the raw sample. And sound funds is a group of samples that are actually set up just like how if you're going to load it straight into the keyboard itself. So exit out of here, close that, and exit out of here. So that's your horns right there. Which is pretty cool. So this is what I'm going to do. Exit out of here. And whoops, before I do that. Remember, like say for instance, I got the hula, I got the hula six right here, and I got more horns right over here. I didn't realize that. So I didn't just download download one bank, I downloaded more sounds. And these are your raw samples right here. So exit out of here. And all of these are your raw samples. So these like say for instance, this is like one group. That's D. That's B flat. That's C sharp. A flat. So it's it's spread out. So that whole thing, if I go to multi sample, oops, go to multi sample right over here. It's all the way over here. So that's the last note. And this right over here, that's the last note right over here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But if I wanted to stretch that out, all I have to do is go from and to. There you go. And from. So if you go lower octave. Okay, so that's the raw sample right there. Let's get out of here. Let's exit out of sample mode. Exit sampling. Don't do it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's electric, all right? Okay, so um, after you exit sampling, what I suggest you do is go into the general MIDI mode. So say, for instance, if I go to general MIDI and I type in piano, this is just a regular bright piano. Check how many elements that you have on there. So let's go into uh, edit, press menu, press basic. You have two elements on there, two oscillator counts, and it shows you right here. So from the oscillator counts, go to oscillator. We got sound and oscillator right here. That's baby grand. That's too low. Now we want to you we want to change that into the horn sound that we want. So from here, you're already in the ROM category. Go into the RAM category. So in the RAM category. It's noise. These are all your sample sounds, but that might not be in your RAM category right here. I'm going to go all the way to the end. And I forgot to um, mention what um, number it was. So your horns are all the way at the end. There you go. <laughs> Since I have so many of them. Okay, so it's going to be 1143. So from one, we have one on the left side, now we have to do one on the right side. So number two is on the right side. 1143. Okay. And right now it says empty, but don't worry about that. Let's try it again. I think I... 1143. Ah, how come it does that? Oh, I'm on ROM. I'm sorry. I have to put this on RAM. There you go. 1143. Okay, horns. So it's not even a full brass. That's on full blast right now. Say for instance the uh the little hula sticks, if I do that. Now, whatever you do to one, or whatever you do to two, do the same thing to one. So, hula sticks. I like that. 
So I don't have that in my section. Now before you save the sample, watch this. Exit out of here. I can um, put a little bit more delay in it. Put a little bit of cutoff sweet. So it'll be like. But the cat doesn't like that. Okay. And after that, say for instance, if I like that, that's called hula sticks. What if there's too much reverb? I can take most of the reverb off right here. I'm going to put a little bit on. That's good. Okay. So you edit your sound, and this is the main page right over here of how you edit your sound. Go over here to your drop menu. Let's figure out a position where to put it at. So go to user, and say for instance, I don't think I have anything in the third category right over here. There we go. Right there. That's gonna be hula sticks. So exit, go to your drop menu, go to right. It's at your empty right there. Ah, damn, you know what? I messed up. <laughs> I messed up because this is what I was supposed to do actually. Um, and let, let me show you this again, so just, just in case if you, um, you, you forget. What happened was that I accidentally changed the program right here, so now it's initialized. And it's initialized right there. So I'm gonna go back to the general MIDI, go back to, uh, go back to Bright Piano, and this is my mess up. So go back to Menu, Basic, ROM, change that to RAM, same thing with the second one, change it to RAM. And that's gonna be 11, 43, orange, uh, 1142, I'm sorry. So let's do it again right here, 1142. Let's edit it again, so edit it. You cut off a little bit more. And a little bit less reverb. Okay, now this is what you're gonna do. Drop menu, go to right sound. When you go to right sound, press select. From the select, I'm gonna go to my sound three, and you can you can label these drum kits and you can label the sounds, and then go all the way to where it's blank, right here. Exit out of here, rename, hula sticks. So clear it, and then hula sticks. And there you go. Press OK. OK. And are you sure? Yes. And that that's your that's your sound right there. And I can edit it basically the way how I want. So let's load up another one, everybody. OK, so here we go. Record. You're in sample mode. Go to menu. Go to multi-sample, and then what you're going to do, go to your drop menu, go to import, go to disk, SD, sound funds, open, it's going to take a little while, <laughs> okay, this one, didn't, it didn't take that long, alright, so say for instance, um, I'm going to show you a a sound font area where they have a lot of sound fonts. So say for instance, let's see if I can find it on here. Let's go to the P category. Here we go. Um, I just missed it. All right, so these, like say for instance, I got the Proteus. If I can find it. Here we go. Proteus 1 presets. So I got a Proteus 1 presets right over here. And if I press load, now this is a cool thing. You can load the complete bank. But what I usually do, I like to turn my jog wheel and see what I can load and what I cannot load. And sometimes you don't want all of the um, stuff that's in there. You don't want every single sound because if there's gonna be some sounds that you don't like. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually delete them. And then you have a lot of stuff to, de de to delete. So exit that out of there. Let's go to produce two, let's see what that is. We have uh, more string instruments over here. So this one has a lot of sounds in it. 
which is really cool. And anything that's gray, anything is is, is like a gray print, you cannot load for some reason. And I, I don't know why it does that. But the Yamaha, it loads everything. Okay, so close that. I have to read up more about that. PRS guitars and frets harmonies. Let's see what that is. Fret noises. Okay. I'm going to load up this whole bank right here. Complete bank. Load. Are you sure? Yes. So I'm loading up the whole bank. That means it won't take any time to load up that much. So it's already... It says, please wait. It's finishing. And these are... Actually, while it says, please wait, and it's finalizing... That is cool. So those those are the feedback harmonies right there. So exit out of here. So you got harmonics right there, and you got all the fret noises that were there. So here's fret noise. Here's another one. Now the harmonics are great. That's my favorite one right there. Some of the fret noises I really don't like. I do like the harmonics though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these fret noises right here. Because they're not really my favorite. I got the variations. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of these fret noises right in front of you. Fret noise 5. I press it. Shows me what it is right over here. Drop down menu. Delete. Delete unassign samples. So that's all the samples dealing with the fret noise. Yes. Here's the pain in the ass part. You have to go all the way down to your end. If you can scroll up and down, that, that's that's make things a lot faster. Delete this one. Let's see. And Another way to delete it, just to show you a nice, easy way to delete it, is that after you assign all of the samples that you want, so say for instance, let's go to that fret noise that I do want, which is, I love that, that's one. So I just want this one. I just want the harmonics one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here, which is, uh, let's find out which one that is. That's 1159. Okay. So exit out of here. Okay. So we got the hula sticks, which are right over here. So this is a good thing. Wherever you left off, that's a plus. So you get the hula sticks. Go to menu. Basic. And let's go to 1159 on both of them. Now, the, what, when I edit it, it follows your touch sensitive. So guess what? That's your new sound right there. So now we're going to save it. It's very easy. Right sound. And select sound. Go to your MT1 right over here harmonics so I'm, I'm gonna put guitar harmonics real GT oops, space GT harmonics uh, no s so we have real GK, GT harmonic because um, depending on how much uh, characters you can actually put on there press OK that's your name right there. That's your space. Okay. Yes. I love that. See, I'm listening to sounds. I'm like, okay, I can use this in a... I just, it's so cool. Such a harmonic sound. Now, after you save all your instruments on here, and um, this is it. Watch this. I'm going to show you 
how to delete all those other sounds that you're not using that's not a sound not assigned to any of your stuff so any of these sounds right over here Any of these other sounds right here that uh, you have, they're going to stay. So watch this. We're going to go back over to um, record. It says empty right there. No problem. Drop down menu. You're in your, no, okay. You're in your sampling mode, not your multi sample. So that, I forgot to show you that. You have to be in your sample mode. Drop down menu. Delete not assigned to any multi-sample or drums so there's there's three of them there's select you get to select whatever samples you want to delete there's the second one not not assigned to any multi-samples slash drum kits and there's a third one all multi-samples drum kits and um, you know it's that's deleting all the samples you have off of there and that's something you don't want to do so not assigned to any multi samples and drum kits. Press OK. Are you sure? Yes. So now what it's doing, it's calculating basically and seeing, okay, I use this one, I use that one. Instead of you doing it, the keyboard's doing it. And guess what? Exit out of here. Now, when you exit out of here, you have to go to the drop menu, exit from sampling. Yes. And check this out. That's still there. And that's still there. It makes things 10 times easier. And also at the same time, uh, what I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to do it yet, is that when you go to Real Record, go to Multi Samples, when you go to Multi Samples right over here, and you're in your multi-sample mode, you have everything. That's your raw sound. You can't it like that. Okay. When you go there, in your drop-down menu, you're going to see something that says compress all samples. When you are full with memory and you deleted all the samples that you don't want, compress them all and you'll get more memory. I had so many samples right here and there was many of them that I didn't delete. After I deleted it and after I compressed it all, I had more more room and I could make more instruments on it. So that will take a long time. This took me basically almost an hour just to just to compress everything. So I'm not gonna do that right now. So exit out of here. So let's 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 do another sample, everybody. So right now we're in multi-sample. And Let's see here. Oops, takes it. Drop down. Import. Go to SD. Sound funds. Okay. And it, it should open just like that. Okay, so now check this out. Everything is in alphabetical order. Right now it's from Z to A. So if I went to A to Z, it categorizes it from A to Z. So right now it's Z, going to A, there we go. So see for instance, check this out. I have all hip hop beats, load. Now I can scroll through and see which one do I want loaded. So just guess what? Even though some of them are not that you cannot load and some of them that you could, I'm gonna put complete bank. Okay, are you sure? Yes, okay, right now I don't have enough RAM memory. Don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do is go back into it. I'm gonna see which ones can I load. Say for instance this one, import, yes. So here we go. I can use that. Let's go to the next one. Right here. Load it. That's nice. Next one. Load it. I 
I think my cat got up because she, she felt the power of the speakers. Um, you know, like the bass, there's bass boosters in the back, so she felt the power of the speakers right here. Okay, try another one. Import. Not enough RAM memory. No problem. No problem at all. So, exit out of here. Close. Um, let's do something else. String combo. Violin pizzicato. Let's see what we have here. Oh, Arcot Selly, which is, which is a cello. So import, not enough RAM memory. Okay, so it might be big enough of a file just to do that. So exit out of here. Let's take what we have already and going all the way down to your last, these are your beats. You have beat one, watch this, I'm gonna scare the cat. <laughs> so that's cool. So that's your sample right there. Uh, exit out of here. Oh, sorry. No, I'm doing it wrong. Multi sample. There we go. There we go. So we got this one. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to assign those. We're going to assign those to the patches, all three of them. Exit out of here. And let's go to the first one. Let's hold on one minute. Let's go to the first one right here, which is going to be 1160. So it's going to be from 1160 all the way to 1162. So 1160, which is going to be number one, of course, it says beat one. You could change the names, by the way. So exit out of here. That's going to be beat one. Now, over here, even though it says beat five, if I put right, I'm going to change that beat five to beat two. Beat two. Oh, come on. For some reason, it's not doing it. Cancel. Let's do that again. <laughs> Backspace two. I don't know why. It's not doing it right now. All right, forget about that. It's not doing it right now. Um, I guess because I have so much memory into the into the process right here. So cancel that. Don't worry about that. Um, but you can actually change the name of it if you wanted to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is exit out of here. Exit out of sample mode, you're not gonna lose anything. And we've got the real harmonics. Next one, do not press this. Do not press your empty space yet or else you initialize. You, you won't initialize the whole thing, but just to, just to give you an example. That's your initialized voice, right over here. That's your regular voice that's saved. Okay, so check this out. Go to menu, go over to harmonics. Now guess what, the next one over here, because you're in A, two element, you're in your RAM, that's 1160. Here you go, 1160 right here. Now let's edit that a little bit. So go to your main menu, and let's see. If I want, instead of, instead of it decaying out, Hold on, go away, come on, go away. You're gonna hurt the keyboard. Um, let's let it keep on going. As much as we want. Now, the cutoff right over here. So it won't, it won't cut off right away. Once you, once you let go of the finger, it's right there. So check that out. That's good. Now we're going to put, uh, hold on one minute. This is going to be real real guitar harmonics, but that's what it is. But we're going to put beat. So let's see what it was regularly. Beat 1, 11, 13 BPM. So let's do that. Right? Clear everything. Beat 1. 11, 3, BPM. Oh, if you wanted to um, give you an example, have a space, there's a lock button right there, BPM. There we go. Okay, let's pick a spot for it. It's going to be right over here. Exit. Okay. There you go.
Let's do the next one, everybody. So this is beat five. We're gonna put this as beat two. Beat two, 811 BPM. So check this out. Make sure you do both of them, right? Now this is already written out for you, so you just have to change the numbers. Beat two, 811 BPM. Go to the next slot. Okay. Always write the beat down. Anytime you have a beat like this, you can actually slice it. But anytime you have the beat like this, please write the beat down so you know exactly what it is. Um, one of these days, I'm going to try one of those beats and I'm going to slice it up and just try to see if it can maintain the tempo, which is really cool. Okay, so let's do the next one, which is beat seven. We're going to call this beat three because it's not seven. Um, one, two, one. Let's do the same thing right here. Right sound. Three, one, two, one. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. No, I did it both. Okay. Exit out of here. So the reason what I did, I didn't edit any of these right over here because I copied what I did from beat one. So everybody, I have lots and lots of sound fonts right here. I think I showed you the bare minimum of how to do that. Um, another segment, if you want to load your own samples, um, I have tons and tons of samples on here. Um, and that I have not even gotten started. This PA workstation and any PA workstation, um, you know, any PA workstation, especially the new ones, I should say, um, you could do magic with them. They do a lot. You can actually, um, you could perform a whole show just with this alone, if you don't mind 61 keys. They also make them in 76 keys. But, I, um, every time I go on a trip, this is what I take with me, which is really cool because um, this is one this is one of the keyboards that I actually depend on. Now this, I have the Yamaha Genos. It's too big and it costs $6,000. This one right over here only costs $2,000. So I'd rather take something like this out than the Yamaha Genos. I love my Yamaha Genos to death. It does everything that I want it and I'm going to make another video on that. But also, this right here does the job. I also, I bought the, the PA, this is the PA-1000. I, I bought the PA-700. And the reason of that, I needed something for work. So I got this at home, which is my PA-1000. And I got the PA-700 at work. So I think I showed you everything, everybody. And if you ever invest into one of these machines, you're making a very, very good investment. Only thing I wish for Korg is um, if they can actually make it in a 76 key. So, in a nutshell, everybody, there it is. That is the PA um, sound fun recording. And um, I hope everybody paid attention. Thank you so much. Please do me a favor, everybody. Click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Um, I hope you learned something, which is really cool. I hope I taught you. Um, and... Um, if you're not on my Facebook, which this is on my Facebook already, but if you're not on my Facebook, go to my YouTube. If you're on my YouTube, uh, go to my Facebook, um, add me as a friend, and uh, share, click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.